So Pam, you did uh, really amazing work on our Waterloo Bridge, where you took off the old varnish mm -hmm. and the painting was much crisper and had more light and more air in it. Is there a varnish on this one? And do you think we need to take that off too? And this painting is varnished. Um, I'm not sure that it needs to come off right now. It is fairly colorless at the moment, meaning it hasn't become yellow, which is typical of natural resin varnishes over time. However, we do know that Monet did not like his paintings to be varnished, and therefore we would want to respect his artistic choices and we would want to exhibit it unvarnished. The reason that this painting is varnished is Oftentimes his dealer would say things like, I can't sell your paintings without varnishing them because they don't look finished. So what a varnish does is that it cover, most people think that it protects the paintings, which it does do. However, it also provides a unified gloss across the painting and evens things out. It also saturates the colors, which was one of the things that the Impressionists didn't like as much about it. They preferred to have the matte finish. Monet would even go so far as to drain his oil paint where he would let it sit out on a cheesecloth or some kind of cloth and the oil would seep out. And so it would become much more matte, especially upon drying. And that was one of the features that they really liked is this light scattering effect, which is what that also does when you have an unvarnished painting, which is why they tend to look lighter. A natural resin varnish, which is what would have been available to Monet, would um, yellow over time, probably in about 20 years is when you start to see that difference in these natural resin varnishes. And unfortunately, what happens when you have a unifying layer like that on the surface and it becomes yellow, it changes the relationships of the colors to each other, and it also creates a shorter depth of field. So landscapes tend to look more flat, sort of mm -hmm. the way a smog layer would on a landscape mm -hmm. when you can't see depth as well. So when, when you look here at these brush strokes, um, these white curls here, would they be without a varnish? Would they be whiter? Sometimes, I mean, white and other light colors are somewhat less affected by that shift that happens with the saturation of a varnish. However, these you would notice it in these boats and in this foreground. I like um, these boats in particular because um, Monet was um, painting these from a hotel window, probably more like a bed and breakfast, mm -hmm. but very, very close to the water in Etota, uh, where he painted these. And these houses here, um, they were the uh, like the shags, where the fishermen would put their nets and their equipment in. Van Gogh writes to his brother Theo in one of the letters that he saw a Monet with boats and he was particularly interested by the blue-orange contrast. He might even mention yellow, which we have here, yes, and which inspired him um, for another painting. And I always, um, well, I don't know, speculated it could have been this one because it could have been at uh, Theo's uh, art dealership and he might have seen it there.